Um, it's day 66. We're going to do an interview here with Draco about uh, he had a bartering day at school yesterday, and um, some of the teachers participated. And his teacher, pretty good guy, his teacher, and uh, wanted to teach some stuff about economics. Um, and the most fundamental part of economics is trade. And uh, so all the kids were, it was voluntary, which I liked that part about it. Like, look, I'm not comfortable with my kid doing that. Okay, fine. I like that. I like parental choice and stuff. Um, to a certain extent. And never absolutes, you know. I mean, very few absolutes. I'll put ne- I'm not never. Very few absolutes. Anyway, um, and bartering, you know. Bartering is the most fundamental form of trade. And, and uh, one that the powers that be really, really hate because it's really hard to regulate. Um, and uh, so anyway, I thought it was really neat. So the kids were asked to bring in a one or two dollar item, and uh, so I uh, gave Draco a. Uh, uh, I'll let Draco describe it too. So we'll go with that. I gave, I gave him a bead to trade, and it's a, a bead that was destined to be uh, never made it, but it was supposed to be part of a, a chandelier, uh, late Victorian era, out of India. So uh, kind of, a, I mean, it was a cool bead, uh, deep red, uh, scalloped. Um, sometimes people call it dog tooth, but I think the dog tooth ones are the sharper ones. Anyway, I'm not going to argue about it. Uh, silver wire and uh, run through it, and then with the uh, silver uh, seed beads. So uh, kind of gaudy, but uh, but fun. I wanted to see what he could get for a real a real trade good. So anyhow, Draco, you started with a bead. Yes. Yep. You want to tell anything else you want to say about the bead? Of that before a snake. Yeah. Okay, now that is where the story begins. Okay. <laughs> so take that snake for a teddy bear. Mm-hmm. Take that teddy bear for a, a book, you know, car. And then take that car for a car. Take that car for the book. But the accidentally, and they had trouble with um because the book was pretty confusing. So I was still gonna try. Hey. It's, and so that uh, book for a DVD, which I know that won't make any sense. And to that DVD for a toilet paper. A yeah, roll of toilet paper. Oh, uh, and I was going crazy because this is what I once said, an, an egg was play doh and so we were trying to, yeah. So I was trying to, you know, get something. Get, go to Mr. Want to see if he'll he want it. He, he kept on saying, "God, okay, nice." And I'm like, "Dad!" And <laughs> you got toilet paper. Oh, and I was genuine orphanarium grade public school janitor toilet paper. And I forgot, and I skipped the part. Yeah. So I made this bracelet on the bus. And so I I took that to bartering day. Mm hmm. Uh, let's see. And I got that for a Pokemon card for the rest of the time. Guess what I did mm-hmm. with the Pokemon card? Just put that away. In my pocket. Yeah. Just, you wanted that. Yeah. That was my. Yeah, it was just a trainer, huh? like this, um, letter that Pokemon can write in it and then Pokemon can read. Okay. Mm. Would you have fun? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, the, uh, a teacher, uh, apparently didn't, that was participating, forgot to bring something from home and grabbed a roll of toilet paper, so, uh... Mis- named Miss Enu, not my teacher, <laughs> my name, Miss Moreau Montes. He bought a candy bar or something else. Yeah, his teacher actually remembered his stuff. But so Draco's kind of the uh, uh, kind of receiving uh, acquired goods <laughs> in the form of toilet paper. So Draco, what do you think about that toilet paper? Yeah. Pretty handy. Yeah. I mean, if you had diarrhea in the woods, would you want a bead or toilet paper? Toilet paper. So toilet paper. There you go. So you all need toilet paper. You can go to Draco. <laughs> So, uh, do you remember when you used to trade for stuff when you were younger at rendezvous and stuff? Yeah. Yeah? He's trading pine cones and sticks. Yeah, I used to do a lot better with that. You came out around, he got a raccoon tail, uh, out of, with two pine cones and a stick one time, he got a, a pot lid we needed, 
another pot lid, a spoon, uh, raccoon tail, and some beads one time. And he did pretty good. Uh, that was at Bayou Salado with uh, uh, Troy, and I was helping uh, some years ago. But uh, <laughs> bead for toilet paper at in the end. You know, he's like, but I didn't trade the bead for the toilet paper. I traded the bead for something else. Yeah, it's not bead for toilet paper. When he was telling me the story yesterday, I'm like, so what happened? He says, Dad, it just didn't work out. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 instead of bead for toilet paper, it was bead to toilet paper. Bead to toilet paper. Mm -hmm. Went with a bead, came back with toilet paper. Mm -hmm. So there you go. And it, it also started with a, a bracelet, came back with a Pokemon card. What'd you make the, what'd you make the bracelet out of? Uh, some little small rubber band, band colorful rubber bands. Okay, like you guys have been doing. It's a little too big for me. You can okay. put it on my wrist, and so I had to put it on, twist it, and then put it on again. Cool. Well, did you have fun? Yeah. Right. That's awesome. So. Yeah, the hardest to trade was the disc. Yeah, what was it? Was it a movie or something? Mm, something I know what would, would be pretty confusing. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So nothing you didn't really know what it was, but you got something you know how to use, right? You know how to use toilet paper, yeah. right? So there you go. You got something practical you know how to use. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody else end up with anything kind of funny like that? Uh, it's a little smoky. We got to work on the fire here. Um, let me. Somebody in my class got a giant Pokemon card. That's pretty fun. All right, Draco man, on to other stuff today. Thank you for sharing. Okay. Hope you share your toilet paper in time of need. Yeah. So <laughs> since I supply, since I supplied the trade goods, I get a piece of that toilet paper. <laughs> dun, dun, dun.